Righto, this is uh, Raw 1251am, my name is Adam English and we are outside here in beautiful Birmingham City, outside the wonderful venue that is The Flapper with Murray and Jordan from The Excerpts. Hey! How's it going? Very well. Very well. Now you were in Bristol last night, we're in Birmingham tonight obviously. How was Bristol? Being my hometown, I have to ask. I'm not just saying this because it's your hometown. Thank you. But <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, without doubt the best headline show we've ever played in Bristol. Wow. Um, we've been going there for years. And um, yeah, last night just topped them, first topped them all. First ever sold out show. Fantastic. Back to the gills, everyone was singing along. Yeah, it was proper, brilliant, life affirming stuff. Now, it's obviously been a huge year for the excerpts. You've had uh, a couple of singles out, new albums coming out very soon. Uh, you've had Radio One coverage. How has it been for you guys personally? Yeah, it's been cool. Like, there's not like a mass amount of difference because we're so kind of just immersed in right, working yeah. and the work and for us it's kind of like oh cool well more and more people are jumping on board so this is where we really have to prove ourselves right so for us it's kind of like the wheels keep spinning we just keep working keep rocking and um but yeah i mean we definitely get more good news these days mm -hmm. like from our manager in the whatsapp group and emails like saying this is happening this is happening yeah. more frequently but uh, and we've no you know this tour has really shown us that a lot more people are digging the yeah. digging the band Actually and translating to like people at shows and stuff. Yeah, that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's good. It's really great. Yeah, now, <laughs> this is a bit of an awkward one, but the last time I saw you, Murray, was um, in was it Two Thousand Trees? <laughs> we were watching Basement. <laughs> you you were stood next to us, and you were absolutely gone. <laughs> but I won't dwell on this. I won't dwell on this. What I want to ask you is. You're kind of, you guys have become like this weird kind of cult icon at 2003s. How did this happen? Like the crowds that come to see you are huge, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, other than the fact that we kill it yeah. every time <laughs> we play. Um, uh, I don't know. The, yeah, the, I don't know. I really don't know. I think... I. Invited yeah, back a lot because James, the owner or the run, the organizer of it, is a big fan, mm. and he's always been really kind of on board. Whenever we play, he comes and watches, and always seems to want to book us again. Yeah, um, maybe even to the point where it's like, maybe you shouldn't play this year, but we sort of do <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know, it's become like a bit of an institution. So we're, we're a bit scared this year because obviously you went on the lineup initially, and then like a few mm. days before they just announced you yeah. via an email, which is very nice. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think I don't know. Maybe it's because yeah, we've been playing that festival for years. Mm -hmm. And I remember the first time we played, like, no one was there, really. And then we played, like, the I think it used to be called the Leaf Lounge Tent or something. Okay. And then all of a sudden it was, like, packed and people were singing along. And I think from that show it became a bit of a thing that people come to an excerpt show and scream their lungs out <laughs> and lose their voices. And then the next time we played it was bigger and everyone was singing along. And so I think people that hadn't seen us before were like, oh, this is what happens yeah. at an excerpt's concert. How did it feel like that first show when people started actually screaming their lungs out back at you? Oh, the was best. it nice? <laughs> the best. That first main stage performance was... Yeah. Yeah. Because so there's a running joke that you guys are going to headline soon, right? It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. It started out as a joke, but it seems very much like it's going to come true. Yeah. I think. I've got <laughs> high hopes. I be, yeah, basically, I... I was feeling pretty ballsy after we played the main stage right. and I think we were on at like half four or something like okay. that and James the festival organizer was watching a side stage and I came off and the first thing I said to him was we're gonna headline here in 2017 <laughs> and um and then obviously we didn't <laughs> um I think he's got written down in his phone he had a wager with me so that that bet was on, so I think I may owe him some money. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, uh, but yeah, I think we're now <laughs> shooting for 2018. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. We can do that. Yeah. Now I'm a huge fan of Chilling Trees, so I'd like to kind of stick with the theme for a bit, if that's all right. Of all the years you guys have been there, what's been your favourite act? Obviously not Basement. I'm not sure you can remember that. But <laughs> I, d I, I d it's it's funny actually. We were literally just talking about uh, that 2000 Trees. Oh wow, cool. Uh, last night. Yeah. Someone yeah. else mentioned. The basement. You. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, me and my friends, or us and our friends, we brought like a ton of friends with us that year. That was probably the biggest mistake we could have made. <laughs> and they encouraged me to just run riot. And I was like on cloud nine, man. Yeah. I was like totally buzzing. So I just, and heaps of our friends' bands were playing. I just kind of ran riot for the weekend. Um, it happens. Yeah. And uh, I'll always be found. <laughs> and then. Um, 
I remember being at the basement show and people like very sweetly kept coming up to me and um saying, Oh great show man, hey Murray, how you doing? I was like, Yeah, yeah, great, thank you so much and I was like, I I can't see and I'm trying to like find God <laughs> in the middle of the basement crowd. And then uh in an act of absolute stupidity, I was like, the only way I can avoid talking to people is if I go into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> so I went into the pit. I think I saw this moment, yeah. actually, yeah. I ran in. I was getting thrown around. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is bad. <laughs> so I, like, kind of just leant up against this stranger who was at the front, and I was, like, pressed up against him. Right. Like, this is good. <laughs> yeah. This is my happy place. Amazing. And he turned around, and he was like, Murray, what's <laughs> up? I was <laughs> like, oh. This is that's fantastic. This is a new low. So that's the highlight for you, is it? Yeah, you remember that show, do you? You remember the basement show? Oh no, that wasn't <laughs> my highlight. No, oh, okay. uh, no, my uh, the highlight was playing main stage. Yeah. That yeah, playing main stage. That Fair was flag, the best. Cool. What about you? I think I got to watch Bronx side stage, which was a huge thing mm. to get to just be right there and yeah, over definitely. over playing. No, I thought I thought didn't you ask who was the best band that we saw? Yeah, yeah, the oh. best band. Yeah, yeah, you fucked up. I was just being <laughs> I was just being polite there. Sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, Bronx. Side Bronx. Stage. Bronx for Jordan. Best band I've seen at Two Thousand Trees. It is tough, isn't it? Oh, crikey! Um, who's played? All the bands. <laughs> um, I will say, I saw so many bands that year. Yeah, it's, like di- you it's would difficult, not and they're all great, right? Oh, I honestly don't know. Um. Did you say Bronx? I didn't watch Bronx. Oh man, <laughs> you've really you stumped me. Come back to me. It at the end if you want. I'll come back. Yeah. I'll keep thinking it. <laughs> All I'll right, keep mate. mulling it over. Uh, so obviously we've had um, a couple of tastes for the new album that's to come, um, and what the singles we've had kind of indicate maybe like a shift from what we uh, expect from the excerpts. Is this like a conscious decision, or have you sort of naturally progressed, or are you like? Are you set on making a different album, different band, kind of? Um, What's the thought process there? I think it's a bit of both, really. I think... Something that's a bit different to the last one, but I don't think it was, like, overly conscious. It felt very natural, just the direction the song started to go in. Like, once you have one or two that you're like, that's a great song, then the rest of them kind of follow that sort of aesthetic. Nice, okay. Yeah, and we... The first song that we wrote for the record was uh, Daydream. Mm -hmm. And... I think we had written like a batch of songs before that that were kind of really in kind of a similar vein as There Is Only You and um, Daydream was the light bulb moment of the 80s influence and we went oh we could t- we can totally tap into this and then all of a sudden we just like dove straight into like 80s records nice. and, and then um, that kind of paved the way for the rest of the writing and from there it was incredibly organic like Jordan said but um there was a light bulb moment, and then we said we should maybe like, yeah, take influence from the eighties. From what I've heard, I'm definitely behind it. Yeah, I'm enjoying yeah, it really thanks, a lot. Man. Um, so, one one question I like to always ask in an interview is, um, what's the difference between excerpts in the studio and excerpts on stage in a live performance? What can fans sort of like distinguish between the two? I mean, records are records, yeah. so you know we'll go full on, you know, production sort of we'll throw everything against the wall. Like for this one, it was a lot of 80s influences. So there's piano and synths and, you know, real like nice shimmery sounds and stuff that mm-hmm. maybe necessarily we don't do all of that live. It's maybe a little bit more rocking, a bit more straight. Right. But it's I think it's because records are records and live shows are... Yeah, yeah. You don't have to, re- you don't have to replicate one with the other. Like yeah. Kind of yeah, we've always seen it as, you know, a record is for life and a live show is for the night. You know, it's a spectacle. Nice, like, I like that. You know, um... People who may only get to see us, unless they travel, like, you know, we'll come to your or their city twice a year, maybe, if mm. that, at times. So we're well aware that, you know, people have spent their hard-earned money to come see us. So, yeah, we like to put on a show and um, make it kind of a real, let's live in the moment, everybody just now. Nice, yeah. And then you can go back to the record anytime. That's there. Yeah. That's not getting erased. Well, that's so a great yeah. philosophy to have, I think, yeah, yeah for a band. Um so uh, we're going to finish on, well, unless you have thought of your highlight yet. <laughs> I, th- I think I'll say um, this, ba- <laughs> this band called Animals as Leaders. Oh, okay. Do you know that band? No. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't. And then all my friends were like, you have, you have to come see this band. And they're just like, I wouldn't listen to it. It's like tech, metal, like it's, it's a big equation. Mm. 
it was like a 45 minute equation and i was just losing my mind <laughs> and um yeah like we were just saying it was a real spectacle yeah and i haven't listened to them since but i loved it at the time that does sound great yeah yeah, yeah. and we were drinking boxed wine so that was like classy. <laughs> what more do you want? I felt in an classy evening. That, that evening. That's brilliant. So yeah. yeah, we'll end on this question. Um, obviously, we're from uh, Warwick University, and it's just been Freshers' Week. Do you guys have any advice for uh, people joining university? <laughs> try, try and strike a balance between fun and education. No, he's sense. He's gone for the sensible route. I like Freshers that. Freshers' is fun. Drinking's fun, but you know, get your money's worth. Like, try and learn something. Very good. Very good. Uh, I mean, I would just say. Be cool. Don't Be cool. don't don't go overboard. Yeah. Like I think that that stuff's kind of overrated. Like cool. going OTT as as a fresher. I mean, because then the stigma of what you did and is there forever. Is right? there for the year? Yeah. yeah. One week of fresh week. There's no shameful <laughs> acts you can so commit. much regret. They will stay with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we we went to college, but we d- it was a music college, so w- we didn't really have like a freshers week really. Um, but my cousin not too long ago was a fresher and he was telling me all these like insane stories yeah. and how like for the rest of time this person is known as whatever right. you know? <laughs> so that sucks just yeah so be cool you've heard it here first don't do anything <laughs> you will regret <laughs> guys it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you very much for taking uh, the time out to do it thank, thank you, you.